so that's how I have to use axe. Oh, darn it. I, for some reason, I'm stupid, I'm stupid. Jeez, when it's like coming at me, I just gotta use my Pokemon, I'm stupid. Oh my God, I feel like an idiot. I feel like an absolute de degenerate right now. Are you kidding me? Hello, Evolution Nation, and welcome back to the channel for episode three of our Let's Play Pokemon Legends Arceus. In the last episode, we got a couple uh, more encounters. We did a couple missions just to get kind of acclimated around the Jubilife area. And in today's episode, we're going to do some more and probably actually venture further out. So I hope you're excited. If you're hyped for that, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel if you are new and you want to see more. Ring that notification bell as well. And comment in the comment section down below. Question of the day is right below me. And and you can see that and I also have one other thing to tell you uh, I know it's a little bit redundant but there are Pokemon on our layout right right below me but there's also Pokemon on our screen as well so if you think it's redundant let me know but I think I'm gonna keep the Pokemon in the layout um, I don't know I feel like it's just something I want to have to do um, but honestly let me know in the comment section what you think because I'm interested in your opinion as well so let's get going here we've got our Cyndaquil out and ready to go He's going to follow me. Now, what I didn't do is nickname our Cyndaquil. Now, we're not going to Nuzlocke the game, but I do want to nickname our Pokemon. So, uh, let's go to the bag, and then you can come straight over here to your Pokemon and change name, just like that. So, we're going to name this Cyndaquil, and we are going to name him Vesuvius. So, Vesuvius it is. Okay. And then these Pokemon are not on our team. Uh, I wanted to make that clear as well. Uh, that's the one thing I wanted to hint at is I am not going to put Pokemon on my layout on the actual layout that are not going to be on the team. Uh, that's the difference between what's going to show up in the bottom corner here and what's actually on the layout. The layout is what I plan on actually having on my team long term. The Pokemon in the bottom are not necessarily going to be on the team long term. So I will want to get that right out of the way um, as well. So let's head out to see, uh, not out to see, but out to the fields to see what there is to do. Because again, like I said, we want to get more missions done and we do have to find a Wurmple for a guy. So we might do that today too, I'm not sure. The Wurmple can evolve, catch a Wurmple to give to Beauregard. So it looks like the Wurmple we want to find in this field land camp. So let's go do that. And let's just see where we go. Let's see what takes us. I don't know what's required. I don't know what we're doing, but we're just going to have some fun today. We're just going to explore. Big thing is explore and just have some fun. So smash that like button if you're hyped for that. Righto, let's get to it then, shall we? In order to complete this Pokedex of ours, there are great, there are great many research tasks I need your help to carry out, my boy. The details of these tasks can be found in the Pokedex for you to reference any time. Sweet, so there's your research tasks, and you can see uh, the number, and it just looks like a bunch of, honestly, it looks like just a bunch of random data. Um, I have no idea if that actually means anything. Uh, when you focus on a wild Pokemon in the field using the ZL button, you can also instantly check the research tasks for that species by pressing down to open up your Pokedex to the right page. Okay, so depending on what research task you need to get, you can do that when you find that Pokemon. Interesting. You must catch and battle diverse Pokemon species that carry out plenty of research tasks. Do so and you'll gain research points and other rewards for your work. One last piece of advice, Paul. If you see a wild Pokemon's attack coming your way, dodge like your life depends on it. Dodge. Here, watch closely. Remember what I do... Okay, so now we're going to learn how to actually get out of the way of a Pokemon attacking us. Hup! Ooh, look at that roll! That duck and roll! That beautiful flowing bit of gymnastics is what we call a dodge. Yeah, well, I wasn't in gymnastics. I have no agility whatsoever. If you're light on your feet, you can dodge out of the way of a Pokemon's attacks. Sorry, I can run, but I can't, I can't roll like that. That way, hopefully, you can avoid taking a beating and blacking out in the wilderness. The security corps had to let me, had to collect me when I got the business end of the Shink's thunder shock. But don't you worry, I've got lots of experience to draw on, and I'll teach you plenty. There's a lot of text early on. I hope we get away from this tutorial stuff here soon. This is, it's a slow start. It really is a slow start to the game. I hope you guys uh, hang out there and hang out in the, uh, 
and hang in with me as we try to adventure past this tutorial section. All right, so what do we got going on? Let me share some survey core wisdom. Focus on a Pokemon of a ZL and then press down to open the Pokedex. You'll see what tasks you have for that Pokemon. All right, so ZL and then down. You might have noticed that you have research tasks to do with how many beat if you've caught. That's right, catching just one isn't enough. You need two and then four and then more and more. Great. Bidoof. Fucking hate Bidoof. And when it's time to battle a Pokemon, remember the captain's switching wisdom. If you have items out, press X to ready your Pokemon. Give it a try now if you want. I'll go on ahead. No, you're going to leave me? You're going to leave me here all by myself? Uh-oh. Nope, it, it, it wanted a battle. I want to go to Facidiquil. I want to switch Pokemon. Ah, uh, yeah, swap. These controls do take a little bit of time to get used to. I will say it takes a little bit of time. I love the uh, the UI, though. I love that little... That's really cool. The little swoosh there with the name. I guess we'll just start fighting. Okay, so you're burned. I'm going to just throw a ball then. Oh, it's got rollout. Oh, Vesuvius, you avoided the attack. Coming in clutch. You are a clutched beast, dude. All right, well, let's just go ball now. Let's just go ball. Takes a little bit more time to get used to like where you gotta go for your bag. It's not the same like sort of layout, so it's a little bit little bit tacky, but we'll get used to it over time. I'm sure we will just get used to the buttons on how to do things. So caught that Bidoof, there we go. Fantastic, all right, let's go grab another. We have caught two Bidoof now. And that's why, again, um, the layout that we have on our layout or the Pokemon that are on our layout are going to be different than what's on our actual game And that's because what's on the game is not accurate of what we actually are going to be using and what I plan to keep I wonder if I can just like throw a ball at you Nope See you got you got a little ticked off. I threw that ball at you. So I am a little slow on the uptake though I am a little uh, slow on getting used to how to use these um, items and stuff. So uh, It will take some time Grab this thing. Stay in there now. Heck yeah, there we go. Another one. Fantastic. Mission accomplished. The mission wasn't accomplished, Kronk, but I mean, we are on a mission. We are definitely there. Um, oh, there's a third beat in the grass. Oh, it's running away. Where the heck did that thing go? Oh, it went in the tree. I bet it went in the tree. Ha 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 ha. Alright, let's go talk to you. The V okay, so the V just ran away. That must have been what happened. So now the Starlies. Okay. One of your tasks is to catch Starly without being spotted. For that task, try for that task, try to catch them while hiding in some tall grass. Well, we just did that the last time, so it shouldn't be that hard to do it again. I'll go wait for you up ahead. Alright, let's go. I'm ready for it. Yeah, a lot of tutorial. I will say a lot of tutorial. I didn't see it there. I did not even see it there. Okay. Shh. Quiet. Get it up. Ready? Shh. Stop walking to the right. Excuse you? That's a little aggravating. I might have to heal Vesuvius here with some items. Is it potion? Oh, the potions look strange. That's the other thing you have to get used to is items don't look the same as they used to in the uh, the general game. They, these look a lot older because they're actually, they're not modern. It's a, you gotta get used to the new look of everything. All right, I'm gonna just use the Pokeball now. I can't hit it again. It's only level two, so I can't do anything. Come on now, stay in there. I love the firecracker. That's so funny. I'll never get over that. It's actually really cool. All right, so we got some level ups on some other Pokemon. That's cool. Oh, so I can't bring my Pokemon out right now. Interesting. So we got Shinx then. Oh, shoot. Now, okay, so that's why they're not going to let us use our Pokemon. We have to... 
All right, what was it you said, L? And then a dodge. There we go. Okay. Oh, gosh. I hit the wrong button. Come on. Where is my life meter? <laughs> Throwing balls away like it's nothing. I have four left. Come on now. Yep, get away. All right. I don't know what I'm supposed to do. I think I'm supposed to. No? Okay, come on now. That was broken. What is going on? Why can't I send my Pokemon out right now? I must be missing something here. Okay, so I definitely don't want to go back to town. I have to take care of something out here. I have to take care of this Shinx, and I just don't know what I'm supposed to do to catch it. If you battle a Pokemon and lower its HP, it maybe inflict paralysis, but move like Shinx and Thunder should be. Yeah, obviously. But how do I how do I catch the Shinx that's like wanting to fight me? Do I have to just like die? All right, so I'm back here. I gotta craft more Pokeballs. I need to see how many I can craft. I can craft 19. So we're gonna craft 19 Pokeballs, and now I gotta go find out how to do that. Deal with that Shinx, because I am having some serious problems. I just gotta catch it. I have to find a way to uh, not die and also at the same time catch the thing. Okay, Shinx. We're back here again. I got my Pokeballs. Oh my God, you come flying. I wonder if I actually have to just get out of here and find her. Because honestly, there's more Shinx over here. Well, there's a Wurmple. Oh, now, now this thing's gonna come at me. Oh, but now I can set my Pokemon out against it. So what? I don't know. These Shinx are annoying, man. I don't know what's going on with the Shinx. I'm going to try to forget about the Shinx for now, and if we need to go back and do it, I, I'll figure it out. But for right now, I want to move on. Use these Pokeballs. Catch this Wurmple before what's-his-face, Beauregard, back in Jubilife City. And then we'll go back and, and try a Shinx again. I, I'm going to put the Shinx in the back burner for right now. And hope I can figure out what the what the deal is later. Times you've seen it use quick attack. Eight out of ten. Look at that. Okay. Ah, so that's how I have to use X. Oh darn it. I for some reason. I'm stupid! I'm stupid! Jeez, when it's like coming at me, I just gotta use my Pokemon. I'm stupid. Oh my God, I feel like an idiot. I feel like an absolute de degenerate right now. Are you kidding me? Just dodge around and hit X, jeez. Jeez. I feel so dumb. Catch this thing. Thank you. Oh my gosh, I feel so stupid. Ignore all that other stuff. My god, I'm an idiot. All right. <clears throat> 10 out of 10 times using quick attack. Thank you very much. All right. <clears throat> now, I don't know where she went. Yeah, she ran off this way. That's where I was confused. I thought she was over that bridge. But no, she's just over here. And what are these red stones, too? I gotta figure out those I have. Those are probably ore and stuff I have to knock off and, and get for my crafting. Around here, you can find a Pokemon called Buizel. It's an aggressive. Dis it's got an aggressive disposition. Another aggressive Pokemon. Great. And a water type, too. That means it'll try to hit you with its move just like Shinx. So you'll need a battle to catch it. So you gotta battle the aggressive Pokemon by just, like I said, just hit X, dude. Hit X, switch your Pokemon out, and move on. Like, it's not that hard. So she's gonna move on, and then we go talk to her after we catch a Buizel. There we go. Right, get into battle. More quick attacks. I can use two of those. Weaken it. 
Go again. The music's fantastic, I do have to say. The music is absolutely fantastic in this game. I'll raise it up a little bit, actually, for you guys. Because I think I can avoid... I, I think I can afford to raise it a little bit. In the uh, last couple episodes, I realized it was pretty low, so... All right, items. Pokeball. There it is! Weasel is caught. Little, little otter. Or weasel, or whatever it is, I don't know. All right. So we've got that. I'm going to check out, look at these ores. Yeah, what's going on with these ore here? Can you break that? Heck yeah! The tumble stone! Oh, so that's what we need for Pokeballs. So yeah, we need to really focus on finding these little red things. Because that will, uh... Get us more tumble stone. Yeah, this is so much like Breath of the Wild. Oh my gosh. It really, really is. Yeah, I'm just gonna come grab some more tumble stone because I know I'm gonna need more Pokeballs. <gasps> an Eevee! Oh, it's an Eevee! Oh my goodness, it's gonna run away, isn't it? Nope, it's got a it's got an aggressive disposition. It's gonna fight. It is gonna fight me, and I'm gonna fight it. Oh my god, I want this Eevee on my team. I don't know if I actually want to add... Oh, ran away. Oh, because that's right, because Eevee's skittish, dude. That's right. Medicinal leeks. Oh, those aren't just regular weeds. Those are actually important. Oh, that's a rapid ash. We got to stay away from that. Oh my goodness, there is some wild stuff out here. We're getting a little off track, I think. We're getting a little too far off course. It's so funny, I can't just le like, rip the leaks out the, the ground myself. I actually have to have my Pokemon do it. Which is cool. It's cool. But, I mean, if it were me, I would just run up there in two hands. I would just I would just grab that leak and I would just yank it out. Oh, yeah. I, I'm not... I'm not I'm, I, know when I'm, I know when I'm done. I know I've called a shot. I, I know when I've got that outnumbered. I don't need to stay in. All right, so let's take a look at the map real quick. It doesn't actually tell us where she went. Get some more weasels here. So let's start a battle with another weasel. I like that we can actually pick which Pokemon we want to start uh, send out into battle too, and which one Pokemon we want. Oh, this is a double battle. Oh, I didn't realize I got into a double battle. Oh no, guys, this sucks. Oh, I had no idea we were getting into a two-on-one. Oh, we are. I gotta run. Dude, I gotta get the heck out of here. Yeah, get out of here. I had no idea we were gonna get into a two-on-one there. I guess I should have expected it. Who just came charging at me? Oh, the Buizels did. Oh, you... Okay, so let's, uh... Yeah, we gotta heal up. We have definitely got to heal up here. I think I got a little off track. I got a little off course. I can't find my guide. Do I, are there any, like, rope I can, like, use as markers and I can tie to these tree limbs to, to stake my... stake my path of where I've been? And once again, I have no idea where she went. So, this will be fun. I'm gonna get so lost. I'm gonna get, like... Molly whopped, aren't I? I think I'm gonna get Molly whopped. I literally think my life is going to end. I am going to, um, I'm gonna have to just, you know, get a plot of land out here for my burial. I am, I am going to die out here. That's just, that's just gonna happen. What is that? What is that thing? Interesting. It's like a flower of some kind. Oh, it's an artichoke. It's a vivid choke. That's interesting. I wish we could just like teleport back to the camp somehow. Can I just select it? 
I can go back to Fieldlands Camp. Let's do that. Let's go back to the Fieldlands Camp. Because I got lost. Now we're just going to make a shortcut back to where we have to be. Can I climb down? Ooh. Oh, look at me traversing. Look at me traversing those rocky cliffs. That's what I like to see. No, Shinks, I'm not dealing with you. I learned my lesson. Trust me when I say I have learned my lesson. <gasps> Ponytas! Oh, the Ponytas are here. Um. Ponytas here. Oh, it's it sees me. It sees me and it's gonna fight. <laughs> I was like, oh. I want to hang out. I want to. I want to ride you. But that's fine. It's keeping its guard up. It's looking around. It's not. It's not backing down. It's not backing down. And now it ran away. All right, there it goes. All right. That time it ran away. I'm gonna leave it alone for now. There's another person over there, but it's not my guide. I love that you can see so far in the distance too. That's great. I love the, like there's not like this fog of depth. You know, you can actually see where you need to go and see what's in, in the future for you. Oh, there she is. God, she's right by this tree. How could I be supposed to see this? How was I supposed to see her there? Are you kidding me? You're really doing quite well for yourself. Here, a little reward for keeping up with me. I didn't know where you went. You just freaking left me. So now I can craft on the go wherever I need to be. Great. I don't have to go to a table anymore. And here's a recipe for potions. Oh, that'll be fantastic. I need those. I'm, in, I'm in just absolutely shellacked out here. With a crafting kit, you can craft items anywhere using any materials you have in your satchel. As long as you have an apricorn and a tumble stone, you can make Pokeballs any time. Oh, yes. Okay. Pokeballs. Potions. Don't need anything else. Please report back to Professor Laventon once you've got some research tasks. It's good and done. Getting to work on research tasks. Report your research tasks to Prof Professor Laventon and earn a sufficient number of Pokemon research points. Okay, so what? You just want us to walk around here and just do stuff then? And then just go back to him? I guess so. I guess we're on our own now. We're on our own to just uh, adventure. Who are you and what do you want? What is this? Oh, it's a Bidoof. I don't want you. I have no interest in a Bidoof. I mean, unfortunately, you have to catch more Bidoof. Oh, shoot. There's a Rapidash. That thing is a wild, red glowing eyed Rapidash. I'm staying now. I'm staying away from that. Staying far away. Catch this point. Oh shoot, it saw me. I bet I would have caught that if I would have just thrown the ball. I bet I would have caught it if I would have just thrown the ball. Quick attack it now. Vesuvius. No, I don't want to run. I want to fight. And then we'll, we'll hit one more tackle, then we'll throw a ball. Hopefully it doesn't run away. Not very effective. That's fine. All right, items. Balls, go use. I'm not used to like selecting my bag with my L, my R and L buttons. I'm just using the control stick, which is, again, something I'm gonna get used to. Caught the ponytail level five. Oh, we got our horse. Can I ride it like in Breath of the Wild now too? Can I just like ride my horse? Now that I've like, got one, threw it, hide behind the tree, didn't get it, got the Bidoof, and then as you catch more Pokemon, you also level up that way as well. The more Pokemon you catch, the more experience you gain, and so it's basically... It's basically what we want to do. Oh, don't you run away. Oh, it ran away. It ran away and just disappeared. I'm gonna go catch the Shinx then. I'm gonna battle another Shinx and catch a Shinx. As soon as it says I wanna fight, I am fighting. 
I'm not one to start arguments, but I am one to end them. And I will end this one right now, I guarantee you. You will learn. All Pokemon will learn in this place that it, it's me that's up that's that's deciding things here, not you. Oh nope, didn't go. It didn't go. Gosh! Alright, I, I think I I don't want to hit it again, but I think I might have to. I might have to heal up too. But I'm gonna go with one tackle here, quick tack, whatever. Oh, I knocked it out. Uh, between this episode and the next one, guys, this is just kind of an exploring episode, but between this episode and the next one, I might just not record uh, some stuff, and I might just grind up a little bit and see what we can do. All right, got that Wurmple. And it ran away. It, it's a... It's a bug. I should have just realized I should just throw balls at it. Bugs are gonna run and hide. I'm gonna catch a few Wurmples so I can figure out which one I want to give to the guy and which one I can actually keep for myself if I want to keep one. Alright. So we got that. Oh, we also got an Apricorn that just kind of showed up. Oh, shh. This one's sleeping. This one's sleeping. Shh. Oh, it's so cute. It's sleeping on its own. Come on, Wurple. That was anticlimactic. What are you doing? Very, very, very anticlimactic. Oh, the music is really getting the cello is really coming out now. Oh, jeez. You asked for it. I was just trying to help you. I'm just gonna knock this one out, actually, I think. I think we're just gonna knock this one out and get the experience that way. Because I want to just grind up my mods a little bit. So let's go to Professor Laventon, and uh, we'll see what we need to finish off this episode. Uh-oh, nope, you're not, not coming after me. All right, so we're back at Professor Laventon here, and we're just gonna see if we have enough data that's gonna make him happy for us to move on. Oh, if, that's a, if that isn't a crafting kit, you must have listened attentively to Akari's teaching. He's an excellent work, dear boy. This seems to be a good time to explain to you about other survey reports and uh, rewards they offer. When you submit survey reports, you'll receive money based on the level and number of Pokemon you've caught. Ah, so this is where you get your money to start doing other things, guy, getting some other stuff, adding some slots to your bag, etc. You'll receive more money if you've fulfilled certain conditions, such as catching a species for the first time. On that note, let me check the research tasks you have completed thus far. So look at all them Pokemon. And we get $2,000 for that survey report. Cool. Mm, I see the most most illuminating. I'll update our, Poke uh, our Pokedex with this new data. As you carry out uh, tasks to complete the Pokedex uh, entries for different species, you also gain Pokemon research points, which you can view on the cover of your Pokedex. Once you've earned a certain number of points, you'll be able to move up through the ranks of Team Galaxy's expedition team. So, okay, so Cyndaquil hails from Johto. They'll usually curl up in a ball due to his disposition. It harbors tremendous firepower. Nice. So it, item, it, oh, so it had the spoiled apricorn and the orinberry. That's what it was carrying. Level 10 complete. That's cool. Bidoof, Starly. Oh, okay. So we actually see re research level 5 on Ponyta, but only 2 on Buizel, which is interesting. Oh, because we've seen it use... Ah, I see. All right, that's cool. Ah, not quite there yet. I'm afraid you'll need to complete a few more research tasks before you're ready to go up a rank. I'd recommend you work on your way through Bidoof and Starly's tasks first. Hang in there. All right, guys. That's going to be it for this video today. Thanks for watching. I appreciate your support on the series thus far. We're going to do some grinding off screen. I'm going to get Bidoof and Starly and, and a couple more, whatever. I'm going, to, I'm going to fulfill his request. And in the next episode, we will take on what else there is to do after this advancement. So thanks so much for watching. And I'll catch you guys in the next one.